Hi, Barbara Freeberg here, former portfolio manager and university investments instructor, here to help you choose between three of the largest and most popular robo advisors or digital investment managers, Betterment, Wealthfront, and M1 Finance. They each have a lot going for them. You can't go wrong picking any one of the, them. And I do have an account with M1 Finance, so I need you to know that going in. So let's dig in. First of all, Betterman is the only one of the three robo-advisors that has access to financial advisors. It is a goal-based investment advisor and also has specialty portfolios, smart beta, income, and socially responsible. Wealthfront is a full-service robo-advisor, all digital, but they make up for it because they have one of the most sophisticated online financial advisors, which I'd really match up pretty close to a human financial advisor. Imagine that. One of the newest features of Wealthfront is they have recently added in the opportunity for you to customize your pre-made investment portfolio with up to 200 distinct exchange traded funds and two cryptocurrency funds. Wealthfront also has smart beta portfolios, risk parity, borrowing, and cash management. Now, M1 Finance is the only one of the three that offers a free plan. They offer probably more than 50 managed portfolios that you can choose from. These are like robo-advisor portfolios, except you pick them. They don't give you a quiz first, like many of the other robo-advisors do, which ask you some questions about your finances and your goals and risk tolerance. At M1 Finance, no quiz. You choose from among the pre-made portfolios. Or if you'd like, you can also invest in individual stocks and ETFs, and there are thousands available. They have a premium service with more features. Okay, let's get down to money. We all care about costs. The digital portfolio at Betterment and Wealthfront both cost a very reasonable 0.25% assets under management, which means if you have a $1,000 portfolio, you'll pay $2.50 to have that money managed. Now, at Betterment, you also have a premium offer, which gives you access to your own certified financial planner, and you can make video appointments with them at your discretion. Wealthfront, on the other hand, offers just one plan, and they will give you $5,000 managed for free if you sign up with the link below. And of course, if you do use my link, you will I will get a small commission that will go towards funding this channel so I can bring you more free content. Now, M1 Finance has a little bit of a different fee structure. They offer one fee-free service. That means you can use their service for zero management fee, no trading commissions, no transaction fees. But for an upgraded $125 per year, you get two trading windows, you get much higher rates on your cash management account, and you get much lower borrowing rates. The accounts available are really great across all three. They're very comparable with the exception that at Wealthfront, they also offer a college savings account of 529. That is very rare among robo-advisors. If you have a kid that's going to be going to college in 10 or so years, you might want to give Wealthfront a little bit more of a nod. So what type of investments are available in each of these? Betterment, low-cost, commission-free, exchange-traded funds from a whole host of different asset classes. Now, as we mentioned before, Wealthfront has ramped it up. They offer low-cost ETFs as well. For accounts that are valued over 100000 they offer access to stocks and scores of strategy ETFs and a grace, two grayscale crypto funds. Now, typically, you need to be an accredited investor to access those. But at Wealthfront, anyone who has a Wealthfront account can add those to their portfolio. And then M1 is quite different. They offer, like I said, more than 50 pre-made strategy portfolios, plus thousands of stocks and ETFs. So there are quite a few differences. Minimum investment at Betterment, zero. Well, that's kind of silly because you can't invest if you don't put any money in. But you can get started with a dollar, $10, $20, and keep adding in to your account. The premium service with full service uh, certified financial planners does require a $100,000 minimum. Wealthfront, you need 500 bucks to get in the door. And when finance, you need 100, which really, if you don't have $100 to start investing, you shouldn't be investing right now. Build up $100 or even 500 to get your foot in the door. So let's get into some of the deep dive features. Betterment summary. 
goal-based investing strategies. You can have multiple goals, saving for college, retirement, saving for a vacation, et cetera, et cetera. They offer tax loss harvesting, which is great for a taxable account, will save you money on your taxes. Betterment, only one of the three that has access to financial planners. For the digital customers, they can buy separate financial planning packages for a couple of hundred bucks each. These are a nice deal if you just want a portfolio checkup, if you want to plan for college, or you have a discrete goal. Savings account, high yield cash management, and no account minimum. Wealthfront, their digital financial advisor is amazing. Helps with life changes, future planning. You can integrate all of your external accounts. For investors with over $100,000, you can participate in their single stock plan, which is useful, especially if you have a taxable account and you're looking to utilize the tax loss harvesting and save money on your taxes. You can create your own investment portfolio at Betterment with some of the 200 ETFs they offer or the Grayscale, Grayscale Cryptocurrency Fund, or you can just add some of these additional funds to your existing portfolio. And then Wealthfront will manage them for you just like they would their core portfolio. You have the chance to borrow from your account, and they also have a high yield cash account. M1 Finance is the most distinct of the three platforms. They offer a free plan. They have, like I said, hundreds, uh, uh, over 50 pre made portfolios for investing, retirement, income, hedge fund model as well. You have borrowing and cash management, just like you have at Wealthfront. And for 125 bucks a year, you can get more features. So let's take a look at the different platforms. And then we're going to have a wrap up where you can decide which one of these platforms is going to best suit your needs. So first, we'll go to Betterment. Website is super easy. Sign up. Here's what your home screen on your phone will look, look like. They have recurring deposits. You can customize your account. Um, you've got a calculator that can tell you the likelihood of reaching your financial goals if you put in a specific amount of money every month. So let's say you put in, well, let's say you put in 500 bucks a month. In 30 years, you're going to have nearly $600,000. That's a lot of money. Okay, let's visit up on Wealthfront. Another very nice, smooth user experience on their um, mobile app. Here are their different Wealthfront accounts. This sample has some individual stocks, has some long-term investment funds, and a Wealthfront IRA. You can get started with the ETFs. You've got crypto. Here are some of the ETFs you can choose from with your portfolio. And I'm going to spend a few minutes more on M1 because I do have a login for them and a very small account. M1 Finance, again, all of them are very user-friendly. But here are the features, investing, borrowing, checking, spending. And here's what you get with M1 Plus for the $125 a year. Your borrowing interest rate is only 2%, incredibly cheap. You also get access to custodial accounts for your kids, more trading windows, and a 1% annual per year checking account. Now, that's a huge draw today, given that the returns on your cash accounts are virtually hovering near zero. So that might be a draw if you, you have quite a bit of savings that you want to keep in cash. So let's just take a quick visit to my account because I want to show you some of the pre-made portfolios here. Here's my account. I have two, within my account, I have two different pre-made portfolios. I chose a global dividend portfolio. And if you click on that, you'll see what is included in that portfolio. So there are five exchange traded funds. They're all high dividend. They are all stock oriented high dividend from the US and the international. Okay, now let's go to my 6040. This is just a bare bones stock bond, nicely diversified portfolio, which has 60% in the Vanguard Total World Stock Index with stocks from the US and across the globe, and then 40% in the uh, Vanguard Total Bond Market Fund. You can see the returns, uh, since I opened the account in a description, and I'm going to show you a really quick view of the cho choices from pre-made portfolios. So let's just go here. They're called expert pies. And I think this is so cool. General investing, plan for retirement, socially responsible, just stocks and bonds. And these are really akin to a the, the portfolio that I just saw you with just the two stock and bond funds that cover really the whole globe. Income earners, if you want to shoot for yield, you can choose from these. And then they have hedge fund followers, which is kind of cool. If you're interested in copying the strategies from any of these hedge funds, from Berkshire Hathaway to Icon Capital, Tiger Global, 
you can choose a portfolio that mimics their returns and their holdings. And they hold individual stock holdings in this one. One more that I want to show you that I think is so cool, the other strategies manage portfolios. So that, and then we will wrap it up with an easy way to pick which one of these platforms will suit you best. So this is the cannabis pie. You can go for a value portfolio, a growth portfolio, or ARC ETFs. And ARC is really focused on a lot of the upcoming new tech strategies, companies. Um, you've got robotics, fintech, genomic revolution. So how the heck do you choose? If you want an all digital platform with customization options like crypto and 200 ETFs, choose Wealthfront. If you want pre-made strategies like retirement or hedge fund, access to thousands of individual stocks and ETFs, choose M1 Finance. If you want free investment management, M1 Finance is also your choice. Betterment is the only offer that has access to human financial advisors. So as I said before, I am very pleased with each one of these well-run companies. You cannot go wrong with any of them. If you like, if you would like to learn more, below I have links to this article, individual review articles, and affiliate links where you can go directly to this, each one of these platforms. If you do click on one of my affiliate links, like I said before, that we will get a small commission, which goes to help fund this channel. And if you want me to do more of these videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, like, I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you next time. Bye.